All right, so here we are getting started with uh, day eight of the kitchen remodel project. Uh, here's uh, my brother and I. Uh, Neil is in uh, the white shirt and I have the gray shirt here. Um, my first priority for the day was to uh, work on this set of upper cabinets that's going to go above the sink area here. So there's uh, two upper cabinets to the left and the right of this window. And then above that, um, I have a set of horizontal cabinets that's like an upper bridge set of cabinets. Um, all these cabinets are going to have uh, glass doors and lighting inside of them. And then a backsplash uh, will go all around inside the area around the window. Um, so here you see... Um, I'm working on uh, customizing these uh, these upper cabinets. They are uh, not meant to be horizontal cabinets, so I have to precisely measure and uh, attach these uh, these hanging brackets in the back and the hinges in the front uh, that will support the doors. Um, so I just have to make sure I'm you know within a sixteenth of an inch or really a thirty second of an inch, uh, so everything will uh, will aligned smoothly and evenly on the wall and that these hinges and these doors that I'm attaching to the front are uh, are going to look like they're meant to uh, attach onto these. Um, here you see off to the right, uh, Neil is working on making the cuts for the tiling for, we have a large uh, walk-in pantry um, off uh, to the right through this uh, sort of passageway. Um, so he's uh, making all the cuts for that area and then uh, all the cuts around the corner here and for the rest of this room. Uh, so he's, he's off running back and forth between the tile saw outside um, during all this time and preparing so he can uh, lay all the rest of this tile here uh, in a little bit. So um, you see me going back and forth. Uh, these, these hinges that I got for these 40-inch uh, horizontal cabinets are these uh, gigantic hinges, and uh, they're actually a bit dangerous. I, I uh, got snapped pretty good on, the, on one of my hands by them. Um, I think actually at this point in the project, I, I had counted at one point. I had like something like 12 or 13 open cuts on, on my hands between the two hands just from you know, all the random stuff. Um, just uh, when you do kitchen remodel projects like this, you tend to get uh, get beat up a little bit. But uh, but yeah, beware of these uh, gigantic hinges. They're called the uh, Ulstra series uh, hinges for the IKEA section uh, series. Uh, the big ones are pretty vicious. They actually, on the instruction manual, if you look at it, it shows a little warning picture of a guy being uppercut by the hinge and a little warning sign. Uh, I didn't actually see that before I got... Uh, got pinched by one of the hinges but uh but yeah definitely have respect for those big hinges so um at this point i think i've got all the uh brackets sort of mounted on the back of these uh cabinets that i'm customizing and uh, now i'm moving on to uh, figuring out the uh rail system there's going to be uh, an upper rail to support the uh the upper bridge horizontal cabinets and then a rail for each of the uh the upper cabinets to the side of the uh the window around the sink so here you see I've got a stud finder and I'm just going through and uh, marking all the positions of the studs and uh, going off and uh, making cuts to these uh, metal brackets. Uh, I'm cutting them outside. And uh, so here I'm just making sure I uh, get everything lined up and level. I've drawn a couple lines across uh, the top of the, uh, the window area. Um, here I think we just had lunch out in the backyard it looks like. Um, so yeah, here's Neil continuing on with the uh, the tile cuts here. At this point, I think I had to run out to Home Depot. I wanted to get some more uh, heavy-duty wall anchors for this upper cabinet section, uh, knowing that there's going to be a, a decent amount of weight uh, that needs to be supported uh, between the three upper bridge cabinets and the two side upper cabinets. Uh, and I didn't have uh, enough studs that I felt comfortable just using the studs for the brackets. So I went out to Home Depot and got some really heavy duty uh, uh, wall brackets. Uh, here you see Neil uh, progressing very quickly through the floor here, making all of these uh, cuts. And uh, yeah, working this way of, of making all the cuts first and then doing all the, the thin set uh, tile lane later makes it a much quicker process. And here I'm back from Home Depot with my anchors. And I'm just putting them, putting some anchors in here along with uh, attaching to the, some studs and checking the level. 
and I've got my first bracket on the wall for uh, one of the shelves and here I'm just checking um, so I've designed in I, I have a uh, a 2x4 that I'm putting um, across the edge of the wall here um, that's going to uh, space the cabinets out or at least this cabinet out that I'm working on right now um, it's going to space them all out and I'm going to put trim on in front of the 2x4 um, on the front side in the bottom and the top um, to finish it out but um, I found in my uh, in my planning that I needed to space this cabinet out about uh, one and a half inches um, in order to make it so uh, the total span across the top set of cabinets uh, would be e would have an even amount of spacing on the right side and the left side and so uh, that's the reason for this extra framing on the right side um, also it does give a little extra space for opening the uh, opening the door of the of the cabinets. So here I'm just running across the wall. I've already marked the lines uh, where it's level with the other cabinet and I'm just going in and attaching this uh, this second bracket that's going to hold the left side upper cabinet and there you see that one going in and again both these are going to have uh, glass doors and all the top ones too. So here you see Neil's moved on from uh, cutting and he is doing the thin setting and laying these tiles very methodical in the way he works. He's uh, oh, he's got his uh, rock star there, and it looks like I I went for a point the way IPA, delicious IPA from a uh, Los Angeles brewer. And so yeah, Neil's uh, working away here. You notice he does uh, sections of four tiles at a time usually, uh, gets a nice even troweled pattern there. And uh, he's got this great suction cup tool for the for the tiles that makes it easy to just grab hold of them from the top and uh, make slight adjustments to them. And now you can see I've moved on to this uh, set of upper bridge cabinets, these horizontal ones. Um, I've installed the uh, bracket for them, uh, done the initial installation of the bracket, and now I'm just uh, laying the upper cabinets in there. Uh, not the best angle to see it exactly. Um, the challenge with this set of uh, of cabinets is these these brackets have to be basically aligned. The um, you know the 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 two brackets for the uh, cabinets to the sides of the window and the ones that are above them uh, they have to be vertically within about a thirty second of an inch of each other uh, in order to ensure that the weight of the cabinets will be held by the brackets on the wall and then also I can screw the cabinets together. Uh, to lock them together and secure them so they're all sort of one large upper cabinet piece. Uh, so you see Neil moving on uh, all the way to the edge of the bathroom here and back this way. I think uh, by the end of this day he gets the whole kitchen tiled here. Uh, everything besides I think uh, this little section of the bathroom we decided to uh, to go ahead and put off to another day because it was already getting pretty late at night here. So one thing you're going to want if you're doing a lot of tile work like this is a really good set of knee pads because it is uh, brutal on the knees and uh, also on the back. So here you see Neil finishing up a bucket of thin set. I think I had ran out here to Home Depot to get some more thin set because we were, uh, we were running out. Uh, and so now I'm back to uh, working on these upper bridge cabinets. Um, again, I'm just uh, really concerned with getting them exact to within about a 32nd of an inch. So, they, uh, so they're all supported by the brackets. Each cabinet supported by the brackets. And I can screw them together and they'll be all uh, you know supported together. So I had to do a couple adjustments to the brackets uh, just to fine tune the exact way they're hanging. Make sure they're perfectly level. Um, and so this whole upper cabinet section will be really solid in the wall and uh, will support lots of weight. And so here you see Neil working away with uh, the the white thin set that I had to get, which is the same as the uh, gray thin set except for the color. 
And there he goes, finishing up the floor. So we'll be able to grout this all tomorrow. And yeah, at the end of the day here, I've got uh, all the cabinets are all uh, finished up and all set to go. Um, and I just wanted to get all these upper cabinets all fully figured out before we moved on to the lower cabinets uh, because it's much easier to, to do all these fine adjustments when you can get the ladder in there and uh, don't have to worry about having the base cabinets underneath. Uh, oh, here I'm, I'm realizing that also uh, one of the other things about modifying a, uh, a vertical base cabinet into a horizontal hanging one is the uh, they really should be reinforced a little better. So I used some uh, liquid nails just to make sure all of the connections between the pieces of wood, the, the particle board on the uh, cabinets, are really securely put together and uh, will support uh, weight pushing down on the horizontal uh, surface. So here we're just sort of uh, discussing what the plans are for the next day. And yeah, I think this is about the end of uh, day eight. So if you continue on to day nine, you'll see us uh, get to a bunch more of the uh, base cabinet work and uh, some more tiling work.